have a better idea? Yeah, I just I don't want those binos to fall on me or Carrie. Yeah. Or those glasses. That's the mask. That's the mask. That's the mask. Oh, Five more fields. All right. They're on now, hook. More rope. Between her shoulders, and we should find out her specific number. And microchip. Mm -hmm. Jim. Yes. And one came up, so back up, back up. she's got a pit tag. No, I hate to be lower down like that. You want to size it to that other pile? It seems pretty perfect. No, okay. You got the and roll her over. And then just pull that. In 2000, we decided we wanted to create a new population in between the Point Capi population and the Tensaw population. We looked at the public lands of Red River, Three Rivers, Lake Ophelia, Grassy Lake, and Palm de Terre. And it, it seemed to have really good bear habitat, but few, if any, bears. So we began moving bears in 2001, and so far we've moved 40, 46 females with almost 100 cubs. This is going to be our last year. We feel like that population is sustainable now. 
They've had a number of litters down there. I think they total 20 now within the past, starting in 2005. So that population can now sustain itself with the number of animals that we've moved there. And we're gonna give the source population here a rest and we'll monitor it to determine what, if any, impact we've had on it. If we move this female down there today and we monitor them every day for a period of about six weeks to make sure that they stay there with their cub, typically this winter soft release method that we're using uses the maternal instinct and what happens is the maternal instinct trumps the homing instinct. For the most part that works really well. Occasionally it doesn't and we'll have a female abandon her cub because we're monitoring them so closely, we'll go in and pick those cubs up and we'll foster them to another female in a den so that we don't lose the cubs.